Here's Brody Brazil. Well, this is not exactly breaking news. In fact, one might have expected this to occur at least a decade ago, but it hasn't. However, now it's official. East Bay has announced their final days are upcoming. They will be officially out of business at the end of December 2022. In fact, by the time you're watching this, they may have already shut down. And yeah, not surprising, but still, now that it's here, um, a bit sentimental. This was a big deal for a lot of young people who grew up in the early to mid-90s and played sports. East Bay was uh, so much more than just a sports catalog. It was something that friends perused together. It was something you rushed to the mailbox to see if the new catalog came out. It didn't even mean you were going to buy anything. It just meant that you could look through and see all the new shoes that were out, the different colors. And this was in a time where buying things on the internet did not exist yet. Going to your local sporting goods store meant that you would have the selection of whatever was there at the time. You didn't even know half these shoes even existed or their names or obviously the prices. Or when you ordered them, you didn't even know when they would come. But it was very primitive. It was very popular. And now it's no longer. East Bay put out this email saying, hey, we're closing, by the way. We're saying goodbye at the end of December 2022. They encourage you to shop at champssports.com, which is a whole nother sub story. You're telling me that Champ Sports is still up and running and still doing okay in an era of shopping malls uh, being being vacant and passed over and shopping centers and just retail in general at brick and mortar stores. Uh, kind of amazing that East Bay has been either absorbed or taken over or is merging into Champ Sports. But that was the email and you remember the catalog. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're a young person. You're like, what is he talking about? It's just like this. You could look at the shoes, and I, I guarantee I had that pair of Nikes with the strap that went over it, the different colorways, so, like, you could wear your high school basketball team's colors, right? I, I bought the green strap. What is that called? The fit wrap strap for your Nike shoes. But if your team was red or orange or yellow or royal blue, you could get all those different colors, throw them on your shoes. And I would I would suspect that was probably a 94, 95 thing right there. But you would just go through this catalog. And I mean, look at Ken Griffey, his shoes. Ultimately, those were cleats, I'm pretty sure, too. All the different models and colors and just, I mean, all of this, I know. I'm very nostalgic to this because of the time in my life and the the influence. But friends would look at this together, right? Sit on a park bench and like, whoa, look at the, oh, look at those. I like those. Or I can't believe they, they make those. Or, oh, I have not seen those yet. Those are brand new. It really was something for young people who played sports to get excited about. Penny Hardaway, remember his shoes? He had a couple different versions. I remember those ones there on the very top. The Air Penny Mid. I'm trying to look at the price on that. Is that 100 and, 134 or something like that? I mean, the shoes have never been cheap. Uh, the Nike Air Way Up Mid on the bottom. I think, I think I had those. And that's crazy too, to look back on this and say, I'm pretty sure at one point... I had those and wore those. Uh, but this was, yeah, this was the time. And look at the, the phone number. Not a website, not a, you know, order on our app. Literally call this phone number. That's the only way. They were open 24 hours. You call in, you give them your credit card, your address, what you want. They'll tell you, hey, it'll probably be a week. None of this two-day shipping, none of this next-day shipping. How about the Air Max Uptempos there? I definitely ha- had those in a different color. The Jordan 11's up there going for, what is it, 125 bucks, something like that. And the Nike Air Zoom Mids. I think those were the Jason Kidd shoes. Not, not officially, but those were the ones that he wore. I think I might have had a pair of those at some point. So, yeah, this is, this is how you found all the new products. This is what young people talked about. They shared this stuff. Again, even if you weren't going to make a purchase, you were going to go through here. And I realize up to this point, I've shown you a lot of shoes, and there are some clothes. There's some some jump man, like windbreakers and stuff here. But uh, it was more than just shoes. All those shoes were kind of the dominant thing and and uh, baseball cleats also. You could also get all of these like different college sports jerseys, which is cool because where else would you, you know, be able to go and get an Illinois jersey or an Alabama jersey, Georgia, Florida State, uh, Purdue, Penn State, I'm I'm North Carolina. These, These were not things you could just go to the mall and get like the jersey, or the shorts, or I'm seeing like special custom basketballs there. Again, think of a time where it was near impossible 
to get this stuff in person or to even know that it existed unless you saw the East Bay catalog. And I know for those of you still watching this video, you're kind of just looking at the pictures too, like I am. But these these pages, these layouts, all of this just really brings it back. Oh, look, at, at this point, they had eastbay.com. Or you could go to the America Online keyword, East Bay. Remember an AOL keyword? So literally, and unfortunately, my closing thoughts here as East Bay comes to a close, I mean, this whole concept of the magazine and the mailer, and I realize mailers had been out, you know, for decades before this, but selling sports material like this way ahead of its time, uh, the, the ability to get all this different stuff before the internet, uh, it, was, it was revolutionary back then. That's why it got so many people excited. Whole teams would get their shoes in the same model and color all from East Bay. I'm pretty sure they did team deals too. <clears throat> As I also mentioned before, this was a cultural icon. This was something of a certain time and a certain demographic. And, and myself and friends would literally you know, pass around the, the East Bay catalog. Oh, let me take a look at that. What's new here? It, you know, again, even if you weren't shopping, you were just perusing and browsing and kind of updating yourself on on what was out there. East Bay far outlasted itself, quite honestly. I mean, the fact that it survived the all of the 90s, like it was at its peak, I would say, probably 94, 5, 6. Uh, but even through the 2000s and the internet emerging and then online shopping of the 2000s, 2010s, and we're 2023 almost, and it... It's just now shutting down. The fact that it lasted decades probably past its peak is absolutely amazing. And I think they're just a, a company out of Wisconsin. Is that where they started? Uh, so it's amazing that they started up like that. They got so popular. They were very grassroots. You didn't see their advertising anywhere. They literally just sent out the catalog. And so, yeah, I'm, st I'm still sentimental to see, uh, to see all that stuff, to see a, a cover like this. Look at LeBron in April of 2004. And this is like 10 years past the prime of, of East Bay. But obviously, people were still ordering this way. I mean, look, for a limited time, $4.99 ships any size order. So they were doing all right, even into the, uh, the early 2000s. But it's definitely an end of an era. And for that, the fact that they're closing down now in just a couple days officially, maybe even hours by the time you're watching this, yeah, it's... Um, it's a bit sad. And so I will never forget it. I'll always remember it. And I'll always be grateful that like we had this in our time. I know a lot of younger people watching, they just can't relate to anything I just said, but you'll have something like this too, that you relate to that got surpassed in the same way that East Bay might have, you know, uh, uh, forced the issue of of sporting goods stores, not having the selection kind of force them in a difficult spot, maybe even force some of them out of business. Now the internet has done it to East Bay and a variety of different places you can buy your, your sporting goods. So it's funny how this life cycle works. East Bay came, did it, and now is gone. But I'll always remember it. Let me know what you think about East Bay in the comments section below.